everyone. Welcome to you. Fantastic. Lovely to have you with us. You're watching Scotty McClue, and we are, of course, live with the internet for in Thursday night. Nothing gets past me. So much to talk about and so little time to do it in. How amazing is that? Welcome, 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 I say. And welcome to all our lovely TikTokers and welcome to all our lovely YouTubers. Tremendous stuff. Now, who is calling? Good evening. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who is that? Thank you, dear. It's Kareem Scotty. Oh, Kareem, how marvellous to hear you. How are we? I'm well, sir. How are you? Oh, fabulous. Yes, absolutely amazing. Apart from trying out the new traffic with the cop coming to Glasgow. That's how I couldn't get. I wasn't on last night, Scotty, and I'm, it's the first time I've not seen your show in such a long time. Well, everybody missed you. Uh, I was out caught in that traffic, Scotty. Uh huh. And um, I was. It was just with floods everywhere. Oh, the floods! floods. floods. Kareem, did and you go through between two and three feet of water sometimes? Well. We got turned around, like the police turned the cars all around. They closed a lot of like bridges and roads off because of that. Right, right, absolutely. And so it was just absolute chaos last night. So I had an early night. I was shattered when I got home. <laughs> ah, Doddy, thank you for my beautiful, beautiful TikToks. Doddy's sending me TikToks and red roses on TikTok. <laughs> Hello, TikTokers. This is Kareem, who's a big TikToker, and he's live on Scotty McClure. Yes, indeed. Scotty, I was reading, um, not too political, but I was checking, it was uh, like a part of like groups across Scotland where you read local news, because I yeah. like to see what's going on. Uh, and it's up in Inverness. Inverness. Uh, so I don't know if this is a, a law throughout Scotland, but it did say by law. Uh, from Friday, you're not allowed to set fireworks off before 6 uh, p.m. and after 6 p.m. So, sorry, not before 6 p.m., but only after 6 p.m. Sorry, all, all, all after 6 p.m., and not, um, but no later after 11. Ah, right. So, wait a minute. I'll just make a quick note. So, by law, 6 to 11 p.m. Yes. Now, I don't know if that's just like a local law or something, but I read about that. It said it's now law. A bylaw. Ah. If anybody's heard anything about it, or well, I, I I hadn't heard that, but it should be a law. I like it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 Think you do, guys? Says Doddyism. Thank you, dear. It's lovely. And Kareem, they're all on here just before we go on. Uh, evening, everyone. Susan, Jerry, Dee Dee, Scotty. Glad I'm included in the chat, Kareem. Uh, good evening, Scotty. Thank you, my man, says Frank Trumby. Hi, Susan, says Dee Gourley. Evening, Lord McClure. I was wondering if you'd do a Halloween special show. So there we are. Interesting. Yes, that's on Sunday. That will be Sunday. <laughs> uh, Sunday night. Yeah. Oh, well, we'll not be doing one on Sunday. Yes. Saturday one, Scotty. Well, no, Halloween's the one night of the year I don't have to dress up, Kareem. <laughs> oh, no. It's wonderful, you know. <laughs> I, don't, I might dress up tomorrow for work. I, I need to find a, a werewolf costume somewhere, so I need to dress yes. up. Yes, excellent. Excellent <laughs> stuff. We love it. We love it. The, the I, budget was just the other day there, Scotty. Yes. And they are talking about it's absolutely fantastic now that we within the next i think is it three or four years we'll get an extra four billion uh pounds to spend uh, on x y and z um i think mostly for covid reasons but a lot of people were arguing the fact that it's with all the big cuts that we've had for the last how many years oh really uh, it must be 12 years 12 13 years you know, it's not really... However long they've been in, I mean, they started this austerity thing. That must be at least 10 years. Mm -hmm. You know, if, if, if not a lot more. And, and there was no need for it because there was 435 billion quid sloshing about in the Exchequer. And, yes. uh, you know, recently, of course, 100 billion on, uh, on the pandemic and 250 billion on Brexit. And I'm very glad to hear they've started asking questions now at the BBC about Brexit. They should be, they should be. 
you know, I mean, we, we absolutely told it just as it was last year. I did a pop-up and I said, now the budget tomorrow, this was last year. I said, don't forget that 100 billion was the pandemic and you'll also be paying 250 billion for Brexit. So a lot of these uh, austerity measures, um, you know, the, a lot of the, the raising of taxes and stuff will be to pay for Brexit. And we must not be myopic about that. You know, you know? Some people have very short memories, I think. Yes. Yes. Selective yes. Memory. So, I mean, really, the till has been emptied over leaving Europe. Now, whether that, uh, you know, remains a bad thing will be interesting to see. Yes. Well, one other thing that I think is interesting, and the, the pensions, a lot of pensioners are talking about could be up to £2,000 worse off with the money being taken out of the pension pot. Uh, for the elderly. Yeah. So my question would be, why do they continue to vote Tory when they, be, when they continue to get more and more taken off of? Very strange. I think it's been kept that Labour is a very, very poor alternative or just so alike to the Tories that, the, you know, there's no great difference that people can see. So you don't have, you know, a really healthy opposition and that's bad for politics and bad for the country because the country operates at its best when you have a very strong government with a very strong opposition nipping at its heels. Yeah, you need that every step of the way. You know, when yeah. people say, do you know, they'll need to be so careful, otherwise Labour will be in. Yeah. And we yeah. can't say that at the moment. We say, no, no, they'll be there forever now. Well, it's, that's what they've said. They, they'll be predicting that the next time Labour could win could be any time after 2030. <laughs> I mean, by 2030, even you and I will be beginning to lose interest. Well, I'm stuck. Do, do you know what I mean? Somebody will say, where's that firebrand McClure and that firebrand Kareem? You say, oh, I, I don't think they're too bothered now. The last time I saw them, they were having a hot chocolate in a cafe. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, goodness. But I, that, that it's just some of the things that's going on, and it just it really, it, I don't understand. And I'll make it, there was something funny as well on Facebook. There was, you know, they used to have the, I won't name the makes, but you'll know them, that every Christmas you've got the tinned chocolates. Yes. And you've got the two main makes that go against each other. Yes, well but, done, Karim. So basically, you <laughs> it showed you like pictures from the seventies, eighties, nineties to now how these tents have just gotten smaller and smaller and smaller. And yeah. um, and one a small supermarket which I love shopping at, they are now doing them re reduced, really down low, which is great. So I left a wee comment on my Facebook saying, I, I said, well, it's about time if, if the the content inside's getting smaller, so should the price. You know, because you're paying basically more for less. But then some them to go on uh, the feedback. Well, have you never heard of inflation? <sighs> and I thought, well, yes, but I felt like I didn't want to continue to argue it, but I thought, have you ever heard of company greed? You yeah. know, that they can use that to their advantage by, you know, selling less of a product. Um, well, I'll they, tell you, when you're going around the supermarkets, if you're buying a big box or a big tin of something, give it a right good shake and you'll find that it's almost half empty. Yeah. Is that not bad for the environment, though, that we're using extra packaging when we don't need to for each item? Yes, absolutely. I mean, we don't need half of that packaging. I mean, I used to get mints and a piece of uh, greaseproof paper in a brown bag. Uh -huh. No plastic yeah. at all. Yeah. You know, yeah. you went along to the butcher just along the road. Every day at the butcher and the baker just along the road. Mm -hmm. You were yeah. in and you got fresh mints from the local farm and it was put in a piece of greaseproof paper and put in a brown poke and you took it back home, half a pound of mints for the lunch. That, she done. And that was you yeah. sorted, you know, and a, and a wee bag of potatoes out the grocer's. You know, Golden Wonders for, for two shillings or something. Fantastic. Kareem, wait till I tell you a beauty today. I put on social media, you maybe saw it. It said, I was taught navigation by a sea captain who was seven times around the world. 
everybody came on and started ripping the mints out of it and putting yeah. funny comments. Now, I don't mind that, but it shows how tiny people's minds are. They didn't believe me. So I put it, I put up, I've just put a picture up of him. Yep, it was my uncle. It was your uncle. Yeah, yeah, Uncle Bob. Yeah. And he got, uh, he got an OBE, he was in two world wars. Yeah. Absolute gent. And in the first yeah. world war, a German submarine, um, you know, threatened them and put them out of action. So then the submarine surfaced and the captain of the submarine and his senior officer came on board. And they said, we want your code books. He said, and Uncle Bob said, well, you're too late. They're in the boiler because that was what you did. You, you bummed them, you know. So, so that was that. And then Uncle Bob actually said to the German captain, what's my chances of a tow? Because you've put us out of action. And he said, you're a very brave man, Captain Walker. And I said, but if we were caught on the surface by aircraft, even First World War aircraft, he said, obviously, it'd be too dangerous for us. And they saluted each other and shook hands and left. It was a, you know, a very gentlemanly thing. Yeah, yeah. You know, and, and, and that was that. And then he managed to get a tug. He got on the Morse key, tap, 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 de, tap, de, tap, and uh, got a tug and the tug took them in. You know, and there was there was there was uh, four brothers, three were seagoing captains, and one was a chief engineer. Wow! You know, and and there were remarkable men, and he taught me navigation, and I thought he's been round the world seven times. He could take a ship from Glasgow, from the King George V dock or whatever, and he could take it. Um, he could take it to Japan and back. You know, and they were all on good. <laughs> hey, so you are. I very good. But imagine the experience of that. Oh. What it's like driving a car. And you know, he was car. the loveliest, loveliest man, Karim. He was quiet, yeah. and uh, you know, had funny, funny stories to tell. And my father visited him on his ship, and um, he saw the hooks for the cups for the teacups, and he uh -huh. said, "Bob, do these never come off in a rough sea?" And he said, if these come off, Archie, it's time we were off the ship. <laughs> they were torpedoed. They were in the water several times during the war. Yeah. You know, and, and that very, very brave guy, but as I say, not a side to him. Yeah. yeah. I bet you found it very peaceful when they were travelling long distance, you know, that they'd be able to just be alone with their thoughts. Or well, he made I beautiful think. models. They had a ship's cat. They had a ship's monkey. And somebody right. taught the monkey to smoke. And I think the poor wee thing probably died of bronchitis or something, you know? Because they, they all, I mean, cigarettes were so huge in these days. And the Glasgow cigarette was a uh, prize crop. Mitchell's prize crop. You got them in tins of 50 and 100. And um, that was Stephen Mitchell who built the Mitchell Library. Ah, right, okay. You see? So... I'd imagine they wouldn't be allowed to smoke in the submarine because of... Well, he wasn't in the submarine. He was uh, He was in a big steamship. Ah, right, okay. Right, yep, right. yeah, that was him. And I've got his master's certificate and everything. And as I say, he was the nicest man, and he sat down. He was getting quite stiff because I think they smoked quite heavily during the wars. Uh, and he was uh, getting quite stiff with um, the arterial sclerosis latterly, you know. But he sat all night and taught this wee boy... Uh, the basis of navigation. There's somebody saying, Mummy Paws, do you smoke, Scotty? I haven't smoked for 22 years. And counting. <laughs> and counting. So there we are. Um, Incredible. Uh, part before I go, Scotty, it was just to continue that thing about I said about the chocolate earlier on. Mm. And it was just, again, and people will be listening to this might know, and I won't name the brand as usual, but there's a brand that I normally buy. Um, and it used to be 28 dental sticks for the dogs for their teeth, and they were quite good and I quite liked them. I did they're the same. Now, they've now put them down to 21 sticks, but they're still the same price. Check the sticks aren't any smaller. They're, they're the same, they are the exact same sticks, so you right. get them small, medium, and large. You got and the big ones, them. and Clyde used to love that as a treat. Yeah, yeah I, I got my dog's dental sticks 
every day. Yeah. The trucks with their teeth are fantastic. For my oldest one as well, the vet always says her teeth's fantastic. And you know, I've looked even at the very teeth end, teeth. Clyde's teeth were amazing. You're right. Wow. Excellent. Incredible. After yeah. 14 and a half years. <laughs> it's lovely, but people, if they're listening, look out for that because I find that very sneaky what they've yeah. done. So basically, they've gotten rid of a week supply, uh, but they're basically you're paying the same price. What? So they're saving seven sticks effectively a week's uh, uh, dental treatment, but they're still paying the same price. And it didn't, nothing's been said, it's just been done really quickly. On well, do you know what I think, Kareem? I think that instead of just being people who go for the messages and purchase things, we all need to become buyers. Now, do you know what I mean by that? So that's oh, like yeah. somebody that might be the buyer for a big supermarket and goes to the fruit market and looks at all the bananas and apples and oranges. Uh -huh. And and I think all of us now need to start becoming buyers. We need to say, look. People are trying it on big style. We're out of Europe. We're not getting the protection of the European laws and rules. Uh, you know, so with freedom comes responsibility. Check everything you're buying, where it's come from, what it contains, what is the price, why is it so high. If you don't actually need it, don't buy it. Don't buy it. Well, that gives you an example as well, Scotty, down in England, that they've just now passed. I don't know if they've done a U-turn, but they were dumping sewage in just normal streams and rivers. Yes. They were allowing the water companies to do that. Uh, obviously, that wasn't happening in Scotland. But the problem was, which I didn't think about, when they're doing it down in Cumbria, that water's travelling over to Scotland. Oh, yes, absolutely. It came up with the, up with the tides up the Irish Sea. I, I don't know if they've done a U-turn on it again, like so many things that they've been doing U-turns on, but I just think the second they're out, that would never have happened if you were in Europe because you wouldn't be allowed to do that. No, absolutely. But wait till I tell you, Kareem, when I was wee, uh, down the Clyde, living down in, in, in Gurukh, uh, raw sewage came out all along the seafront. And it was, and nothing was done about it. It was maybe only, I don't know, maybe something like 30 years ago, they got a sewage plant at the Battery Park. So you went on the beach and you were swimming and you really actually had to to um, to avoid the products. Wow, well, you could have had a cut or something. Yep. Water would have been filthy. Nobody bothered and you would be changing on the shore and there was, uh, you know, the full product. Uh, yep. And all the ships that went up and down, they all had sea toilets, so everything came out of them as well. So at low tide, you could walk down the beach and you would see the whole lot, the paper and everything, out uh, out the bottom of the pipe. Horrible. Yeah. <laughs> well, nowadays, just, just, you get a lot of oil. You still see that down at the beach um, at times from a lot of ships. Uh, when you go down like Irvine Beach, you do still see quite a lot of oil. Yeah. Um, and I've, I've seen like, I don't know what type of dolphins they are, but you see quite a lot of them washed up on the shore as well. Ah, so, dead. Shame. Yeah, that is heartbreaking. Beautiful, beautiful creatures. Karim, a joy to hear from you as, as, as always. We'd better push on, better press yeah. on. Speak tomorrow, thank you. Dude. I thank look you forward time. to it. Remember, it's 10 o'clock tomorrow, Friday. My head's up my backside, right? I'm, I'm not surprised you worked so hard. Bless you. Thanks. Thank you. Do. There we are. That's our Kareem. What a great guy. Fantastic stuff. Super call as well. Let's see what you're all saying here. Halloween's my birthday, Scotty. I was born at home when I popped out. The doctor slapped my mother rather than me. <laughs> TikTokers, you learn to swim with your mouth shut, Scotty. The Mersey was full of something french uh you live on scotty's funny who's that hi scotty how are you getting on tonight how are you getting on who's that it's jerry here oh jerry excellent lovely to hear from you dinky do thank you do big man now what's happening oh, oh no what's just walking away scotty walking away good we like to hear that got a wee bit of a interesting topic for 
for you tonight. Go on, Jerry, speak up, La. One, one for the viewers as well. Yeah. Should horses be allowed on the public highway? Ah. Now, I was going to take that one further. Should cyclists be allowed on the public highway? Well, there's two. There's coming too much off of the one stone there. I think the two of them are just an absolute nuisance. They are actually a nuisance, and it's a shame because I love the horses, and I always make sure I, I, I behave very, very carefully, give them stacks of space, go by very quietly in top gear, all the rest of it. But, you know, I was thinking this morning, you know, with the, the darker mornings and, and what have you, and cyclists and, you know, I mean, obviously you're you're chasing some poor soul a bit as they're pedaling uphill. And, um, you know, you, you have to give them so much room by law. But I thought, you know, to be quite honest with you, the cyclists are really a bit of a nuisance. And I was wondering if maybe we should curfew them and have them off the road between, say, I don't know, seven and nine in the morning. And maybe, yeah. uh, maybe between four and seven in the evening. I, I like to drive for a lot of Normally, driving quite a lot of country roads and that is right past us. So, cyclists are just seeing these single track roads where there's not a lot of passing places and that. Trying to get past cyclists now, especially horses. Yes. I've seen me going for about three miles, you know, just to get by what five a horse or a cyclist because as you say you need to give them so much space it's not just a case of nipping out and buy them you've got to you know give a white bear so that if the worst was to happen you know you're not going to injure anyone yes exactly jerry i mean this is it but you know i mean the cyclists they're they're wobbly and uh you know it's it's always i always get a bit anxious passing them even with stacks and stacks of room the other thing is where they're quite dangerous is modern cycles can go very, 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 very fast. Yeah. You know, and, and, and that makes them a bit dangerous. So sometimes it's quite difficult to catch up with the cyclist. And even when you stop at the lights, they then shoot past you. Oh, that's the most frustrating. You know, and some of them do a quick nip on the pavement and all that, you know. Yep. Here's somebody oh. saying, All I can say, I love this beachy beachy. All I can say is the councils have spent hundreds of thousands on cycle paths and they don't get used. And it narrows the roads. Cyclists are a law unto themselves, no lights, straight through red lights. Well, I don't know if you've seen on social media, but this insulates Britain of that are doing the protest. Yes. All about carbon emissions and that. They were actually blocking a cycle lane down south in London. They were blocking off a cycle lane to disrupt cyclists. How stupid is that? Well, what has that got to do? I mean, the cyclists, I mean, the one thing I can say about them, bless them, they're certainly green enough. You know they're using oh, maybe they're using maybe a couple of drops of oil in their gears and that's it. You know. Yeah. No, I think we need to look at the whole thing, but I think I'm not against the cyclists. I think we should just have them off the roads during the commuting times. Yeah, especially when I've been to many canal towpaths and. Yes. Don't get me wrong. A lot of people use the bike for to commute back and forward to work, which is fair enough. But I think. Above and beyond all horses, you know, no one, no one commutes to work on a horse. No, you don't need to be out horse riding, and certainly not at rush hour. You don't need to do it. That is above and beyond all. That is for someone. You know, that is just pure for pleasure riding on the road on a horse. Absolutely. There's so many different people's lives at risk. It's just, I, I think, it's a very dangerous. I've been in so many situations trying to pass a horse. And the horses, you know, got a bit scared and started running off and the cars swerving. It's, it's a horrible, horrible thing. Yeah, and it's an awful thing for the rider to have to try and control, you know? Yeah, that's it. Absolutely. Yeah. Jerry, a very, very good point. I hope you're enjoying the phone-ins. Yeah, definitely. You're doing well with them. Well, I'll tell you, there's, there's developments going on all the time. 
Uh, you know, I mean, I know the audiences aren't up in the millions as yet, but there's so much interest in what we're actually doing here. I give it time. Do you know, because we are out around the whole world. I've got people in front of me from America, from from Japan, China, anywhere you like, the Philippines, Australia, New Zealand. They're all on right now watching. Yeah. I've got them on the TikTok here. You know, it's tremendous stuff. TikTok, TikTok's a great app. I connect so many different people, you know, in, in the same place. I'm loving my TikTok because, I mean, I did a 15-second video the other day, and the last time I looked something like, I think, just under 30,000 have watched it. It's crazy. It's crazy, the TikTok. That's, now, that's, that's not bad. 15 seconds, 30,000 have watched it. Imagine if they'd all sent me a quid. Yeah, i tell you one thing. I wouldn't have mind owning a few shares in TikTok back when, it, back in the day. Yeah, back in the day. And then imagine how much those shares are worth now. Do you know, Jerry, when the BBC started, it was effectively a private company and there were shares in it. Yeah. Could you imagine if you owned sort of like, you know, 25% of the BBC today? <laughs> yep, absolutely. Lovely to talk to you. Good stuff, Scotty. Keep up the good work. Bye All bye. the best, buddy. Bless you. Dinky-doo. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, bye -bye, Jerry. Top man. There we are. That is fantastic stuff. I'm for cyclists, says Mummy Paws. Think more people should cycle and less should drive. Ooh. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Hi, Scotty. How you doing? Hey, Glenn. Dinky-doo. What a cracker tonight, eh? Yeah, but... Well, have you uh, have you been following? Obviously, you've been following the news online about a certain franchise changing its name. Yeah. What do you reckon to it? Well, I mean, I mean, I'm not going to actually go there. To be quite honest with you. Yeah. You know, I'm I not going to go there. That's that's their business. Absolutely. I think it's start raving, mad to be honest, guy. Yeah. If you ask me. Yeah, absolutely. Well, I mean, it's it's just there's so many mad things happening out there. I mean, I've watched a YouTube video about, you know, his presentation earlier. Uh, the one I did? No, I'm on about the news of what's up oh. with this franchise. Oh, yes, yes, and, absolutely. Uh, it's got, like, holograms of the virtual reality world. Yeah. Yeah, there's eight, there's that's, everything out there. That That's, that's going to be the next concept anyway. Going to be huge, absolutely, yeah. Glenn. I can't give you too much information, but things are moving on a pace. Can you imagine a virtual reality scotter? Virtual reality. Well, I wondered. Now, listen, don't you laugh because I yeah. wondered, right, about setting up. What is it you call it? A hologram. Yeah, that's correct. Yeah. Right, hologram, not a holograph. Uh, I remember a guy pretending he knew about the law and said adopted as hologram. Yeah. Said adopted <laughs> as holograph. Because you know these things, Glenn. You're a you're a businessman, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah, you dealing you dealing all that stuff. So okay, anyway. Go on. No, 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 lie. I just I just know you've never told me, but I just know I think this man's smart. You know? I think we'll adapt, Scotty. I think we will adapt to it when it's well, no, wait till I tell you what my plan was, right? Yeah. I get, and we might still do it, I get the hologram to pop up, and yeah. I program it with all the Scotty McClue phrases under the sun. So when somebody says something, they trigger it, and it goes, ah, did you do? You know? Yeah, yeah, just tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10. Whoever has no, McClure as the market. Yeah, definitely. You know? Will, will you will you land on your platform then when it when it comes on this guy? Well well you never know. You know, I mean we, we, we might well do that. You see, I'm on four platforms at the moment. Now we're yeah. still in the experimental stage. I can yeah. go up to thirty platforms. Yeah, I won't I won't mention no names, no pack No pack names, no pack drill. But I can go up to thirty platforms where yeah. where we're streaming right now. Now, Definitely. also, there's there's so much interest in what we're doing. We're in our seventh week, Glenn. 
Now, yeah. you know how embryonic that is for a business. It's only going to progress in there. We're in our seventh week, and people, yeah. big, big names, are starting to get very interested in what we're doing. Definitely. You know? You, you've just got... You you can't stay on the same page all the time. You no. Well, the you time. see, I yeah. never, ever have huge conversations going on in 1998. This new internet thing, how does it work? Can you get voices on it? Well, no, not yeah. yet. Blah, 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 blah. It's like a big pipe trying to get all the information down it. Right, okay. So we can't actually speak over it. Not really. Then look at us now, Glenn. Yeah, I mean, when something, when the platform leaves or gets rebranded, you just move on to the next version, do you? Well, of, of course you do. You know, I mean, that's yeah. what you do. You know, because we've got to get my clue out there because it's what the people want. You just adapt, you just adapt with time, so you If the people didn't want it, I wouldn't do it. You've just, you've just got to go along with the times, really, aren't you, each time? I love it, yeah. Glenn. I'd, I'd, I'd love yeah. to live to be a million to, to see the, the, the next that's step. It. The, ne the next level, yeah. The, yeah. We're, we've still got a long way to go even on our, on our platforms, aren't we? We've got a long way to go with what we're doing right now. Yeah, definitely. I mean, 20, 30 years ago, who would have thought it? Who would have thought it? Well, look, 20, 30 years ago, you needed a few hundred thousand quid in old money to set up yeah. a television station. Mm. Now, if people say to me, how much does this cost you to set up? You know, I say, ooh, uh, Oh, uh, uh, you know, a couple of hundred quid. Yeah. You know, and what if yeah. we get the equipment, you know, a couple of grand, two and a half grand tops if we fulfill our uh, GoFundMe we'll, account? We'll see a virtual Scotty soon, really, so we we'll definitely. A virtual Scotty. Well, no, you see, what I thought, I could do the live show at night or in the morning or both and have the hologram on during the day. Yeah, be good that. Now, people would love, even knowing it's a hologram, people would yeah. love interacting with Scotty McClure to hear the phrases. They'd be going, watch, if you put into this, what should I do with my life, Scotty? It comes yeah. up, tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 about Scotty McClure. Exactly. <laughs> I, I think uh, that was just an awesome concept, that. Isn't it huge? Yeah, I think... Uh, how do we share this, Glenn? Yeah. How do we share? No, I'm I'm saying, how do we share this right now? How do we share it, Scott? We yeah, gonna... yeah, how can we share? Can everybody share the YouTube right now? It's going away now. Yeah. We need to get everybody sharing and sharing and sharing. We need to get the figures up, and we need to get the YouTube channel, everybody subscribing. Later on. Yeah, we need them subscribe. We need them to know it's free. Yeah. <laughs> they should realize by now that it's free, shouldn't they, to be honest? Well, they should, to be honest, but, you know, people are a bit wary. Yeah, it's like, it's just, like we said the other night, the word subscribes a bit. What about this? Gordon Robertson, we certainly ought not to allow cyclists and women drivers on the road at the same time. Both are big hazards. But there you are, and that's from Gordon. What about this one? Uh, what about the A9 between Bannock, Bun, and Pleen? The road is a disgrace. It's meant to be tarred, very thin cover, no road markings, poor lighting. Terrible Scottish, is Frank. There were a lot of controversy over the years about women drivers, Scotty, definitely were there. Listen to this. Tonight I saw a police car pass cyclists with lights on their bicycle. I would say that's without lights on the bicycle. No action taken. A car came out, a supermarket in the road, uh, without putting their lights on, and the police stopped and questioned them. But, Scotty, sometimes emergency services don't go through lights quicker than they, even though there's not an emergency sometimes. No, but, I mean, I, I don't but, mind that. I mean, the job yeah. they're doing, you know. The only thing that's I would say is, as they pass you, if yeah. you've got a window down, get your window up because it'll just about deafen you. Definitely. The, the sirens are really alertive, are they? Very, very alert. You can see them coming from miles. I always look at them and say, where's that coming from? And then when you see it, you think, oh, hang on, and just, just move in. I mean, what I did, I just stopped the inside lane last night 
and that let them get by and then cut in to the inside sometimes, and back out again. Sometimes you think it's good to give them that extra few yards down. And I remember one time that I was about to turn off uh, the motorway and there was a police car approaching at terrific speed. Now, he yeah. wasn't signalling which way he was going, right? right? So I did my signal. I rocked my indicator so it flashed left and right. He flashed yeah. left, and I thought, good. And I flashed right and got out his road. I don't blame you. You see? So it was it was good. So he, he picked up on, on, on me, me signalling him. Yeah. Are you going yeah. left or right, you know? Well, I think, I mean, I'm not sure if I was doing right thing, but he seemed to think so. And it meant that I stayed in the right lane, he got into the left. So, so, so what have done for his uncle last year and half has been... The, the what, love? Sorry, Glenn. The way that the NHS has done over the last year and half has just been... Oh, fantastic. Uh, fantastic. Uh, Glenn, I'm going to have to dash. The calls are piling in here, La. Nice one, Scott. Love you lots. Love you, Sky. Hey, Love think Sky. you do. Thank you so much. Top yeah. man, that's our Glenn. A fine fellow from Sheffield. Uh, he's in the Midlands. Yes, indeed. Uh, Suzanne, if they need medical help after they've glued themselves, they're putting pressure on the NHS. Yes. This is them talking about protesters. Do you think the protesters who glue themselves to roads and other things should just be left there, says Gordon. Who oh, harsh, Gordon. Harsh but fair, that's you. What if the cyclists are commuting? Well, mummy, pause. Maybe we have to say you can't commute to bicycle. I'm for the cyclists. I think more people should cycle. Mummy, pause. We read that. Uh, there we are. Now, what have we got here? Hi from Vietnam. Think you do, Vietnam? Good evening, Vietnam. You're live on Scotty's phone. Who's that? Martin, my man, how are you? Hey, Vincent, back again, back from the van, back again. Dinky do, son, lovely to have you with us. Now then, what's to do, Martin? One of the things we need to mention, have you seen London's, London's Burning? Yes, London's Burning, I remember it, yes, very good series, actually. I love London's Burning, what about the X Factor and Dancing on Ice? Uh, that's what I, I, I'm not too mad about all these things. I have watched a bit of, obviously, X Factor, Britain's Got Talent, Dancing in Ice. But, you know, I'm not too mad on that. I can live without it. Mm -hmm. So how's your, so how's your day been? My day has been outstanding. What about yours? My day's been great. Shout out to Dee. Hello, Dee, and hello, Susan. Hello, Dee, and hello, Susan. Dink you do. From, from Martin. <laughs> from Martin. There's Basil saying, how's it going, Scotty? <laughs> no way, Scotty McClure. I love you, Scotty. You used to listen to you on the radio all the time, says Kyle. Yeah. What franchise is this, says Cornelio. And there we are. Fantastic. Hologram, Sam. Think we should just stick to the window sticker, Scotty. <laughs> yeah. What franchise? I don't know what they're on about. Most of the signals from the internet are through cables on the ocean seabed and not satellites. I know. I think in an ideal world, Scotty McClure should be brought to the people via satellite. Yes. Can the hologram play the wind box and sing, says Kulilio. Uh-huh. So, what are you doing for Halloween? Nothing? Uh, Halloween, well, it's the one night of the year I don't need to dress up, Martin. Nice. And the bonfire. Um, it's not until um, Guy Fox night. It's also um, so folk need to start, people need to start banning fireworks. Yes. The ban the fireworks. Ban the fireworks uh, until uh, public display on bonfire night, then finish. Uh -huh. Oh, well, Scotty is yeah. live from Munich. There's uh -huh. Laus, Laus in Munich. Says, hi, Martin. Yes, hello. There's yes. Mark says, I heard you 20 years ago coming from Scotland to England on the motorway. Oh, nice. <laughs> I always thought about you and I said, who is this guy? Well, now you know. <laughs> uh -huh. Yes. How dinky-do is that? 
thank you, dear to you. So, thank you, dear to you, Martin. So, Take great care of your dear self. And remember, the phone in tomorrow's 10 o'clock. Okay, okay, son. Cheers. Love you a lot, son. Night, night. Okay, love you too, mate. Bye. See you, buddy. There we are. I understand a little. You are great. La Sage. Nicht Deutsche sprechen. Ich bin ein Ausländer. Nicht verstehen. So there we are. Yeah, yeah. Guten Tag. Yes. Absolutely. Hello, great brother. Absolutely. Lovely to have you all with us. If you've just joined us, you're watching Scotty McClue. Hashtag Floatai, the first lord of the internet. This is the big one. We are on YouTube and we are on Twitch. <coughs> Good, good, good. La Seger. Good, good. Yeah, yeah. Lovely to have you with us. Was that all right, La Seger? There we are. What a lovely, lovely name, La Seger. Am I saying it right? Who's just sent me a huge present? Two Nabs has sent Scotty McClure a pumpkin on TikTok. Say hello to Mr. Paws, says Mummy Paws. While well, we're busy tonight. Uh, Susan, have you just woke up, girl, says Jerry. It's deep in the capital. Glasgow is dry and mild. They are Jerry Nickel. I think we'll soon be having Glasgow as the capital. Aha! Enjoy the pumpkin, Scotty. Two nabs. You are very, very kind. All my TikTokers are so beautiful. My YouTubers, my Facebookers, my LinkedIn livers, and my Twitchers. Can somebody, for goodness sake, go and watch on Twitch? Scotty underscore McClure. Uh, so there we are. The poor bloke's trying to understand English and we're dinky doing and okay. <laughs> we love it. There we are. Now then, who have we got here? Fantastic stuff. Thank you. Oh my goodness. Kareem in Glasgow has sent me 30 pumpkins. Kareem, that's fantastic. Thank you so much. Scotty, it's been great. Do you like it, Martin? Yes, my friend was on tonight, says Susan. There we go. Uh, I'll watch it back later. Do. Many ripples form from one throne pebble. Murray O'Donnell, you're a man of great wisdom. Guys, I've uploaded a new TikTok for you, so you should see it. And it's a lovely, wise story. Kareem sent me a big donut. Thank you, Kareem. Uh, there we are. Can you shout out to my mate Jerry and tell him to up the Royal Artillery, says Ireland. You're a radio legend in the United Kingdom, Mark. Thank you. So there we are. Angela Walton, dinky do. Now then. You're live on Scottish phone in. Who's that? There we are. I don't know what that was at all. Somebody's got the radio on, I think. There we are. Good evening, Scotty. Dinky do Drewski. Drewski from Ontario. Is that not beautiful? In Canada. Uh, remember the you could release a Scotty gotcha. Oh, yes, indeed. Thank you, Lausija. So very, very kind of you. Now, good evening, Scotty. Dinky do. We're getting everything through here, guys. Uh, what about the bins every month now, Scotty? They're not every month, are they? Is it not every fortnight? So there we go. Law Gordon, you're welcome, Dee. Uh, send you and your mum the best wishes, Dee, says Susan. Absolutely, Dee. I see your mum's in hospital. Are you an advanced driver, Scotty? Uh, no, Murray, I didn't do my advanced driver, but uh, the police very kindly took me on a, a police driving course and boy did i learn we were out for about an hour and uh, you know lovely big inspector and uh, he was just amazing and the stuff he was telling me and i came back a much wiser man i can tell you uh, have a lovely time dinky do you should advertise in Glasgow to make sure the COP26 world leaders, delegates and protesters all tune in to the phone-in. Yes. Good one, Gordon. Although it's interesting, I said, should I advertise along the Clyde Expressway? And my friend said, that's a wee road in Glasgow. You're worldwide now. <laughs> Tremendous stuff. Uh, there we are. Stirling Council bins every month. Shocking. 
Fly tipping on the increase. Well, Murray, it will do. This is the problem. I did love a TikTok about a guy. What's Angela going on about here? Angela, what are you going on about, love? We don't know. Uh, you're a radio legend in the United Kingdom. I thank you for that. Can you also shout out to the gallant man from Gary Owen? Right, Ireland, Ireland. Yes, indeed. And up the Royal Artillery. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Ha, ha, ha. You talk shit. Hello? You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Gone. There we are. My Aunt Jean had our advanced backseat driver certificate. I knew, I knew, gone. You had to remember them. What's that? Here, you should be going late. Try and keep into the side. Would you like to take your foot off the accelerator for a bit? All that kind of stuff. Great, great. I can remember running a lovely, lovely old auntie that we had. She was a great aunt. Apparently, there's no such thing as a great aunt. Should be a grand aunt. Don't know about that one. I think we'll stick with great aunt just now. And um, absolutely incredible. She's in the back of the car. I'd been caught. I mean, this is 45 years ago. I'd been stopped by the police for doing, it must have been 38 or something in a 30. Right? I got fined a pound. Anyway, the policeman's taking the details. None of your, you know, iPads or anything like that is writing it down in the motorway, on the motorway, on the book. <laughs> anyway, she's in the back chipping in. What's this to do with? What's he wanting? Saying, uh, he says we're well, speeding, Auntie. Ah, oh, just too little to do with their time. That's what's wrong with them these days. They should be away getting people that are breaking into people's sisters and murdering old ladies instead of bothering the likes of us who are just minding we're in business. Yes, yes, Auntie, yes. I'm just going to talk to the constable now, Auntie. So it wasn't really helping, you know, that kind of thing. There we are, fantastic. You live and Scotty's phone in, who's that? You fucking. Hello? You live and Scotty's phone in? Could you hear me? No, nope. there we are. Obviously not connected. Uh, to the telephones, guys, as soon as you possibly can. Very, very important. Now then, I used to like Charlie Wolf. I also like Charlie Wolf and James Whale. I miss these days. Yes, Mark, James hasn't been very well. I sat in for James once on talk radio. Fantastic. Now, what do we got here? What's your favorite breakfast roll? Sometimes I think we quite like a square sliced sausage and an egg. That's the one. The lady from South Africa. Just send you loads of TikToks. Ah, Angela. Yes, Rosemary from South Africa. Well, Angela, people come and go. That's the beauty of the social media. Right, Sterling, out the car. The late, great Ricky Fulton, yes. And a lovely reference to Sterling Moss. And do you remember when he stopped Inspector Taggart? Oh, that was brilliant. We loved that. There we go. There we are. Fantastic. Now, hold on a wee second to let's see what that is. Right. That's beautiful stuff. So lovely of you, Susan. Thank you. Um, right, Gordon, I'll check that out. I'll not say too much. Bannum says, D.D., these people are absolutely nothing. Don't even give it a thought. That's what I say. He will get a lifetime ban. Uh, he'll probably get a knock in the door as well. You never know. So there we are. Jerry Nickel, thank you. Know. Now, yes, I remember her now. Does it taste different if it's square? Well, we do like it. We like the square. Fantastic. Now, who have we got here? Wonderful. We love it. There we are. Fantastic. Who's that? Hang on a second, guys. Lovely. Right. That's that. Lifetime block on that one. David's due a call. Uh, you can have 25 to 1 is the next caller. How do you know that? We do not know, I see. <laughs> Love it. There we go. 
Excellent stuff. If you've just joined us, a very, very warm welcome. You're watching the Internet Phone In with me, Scotty McClure. If you've got access to the YouTube channel and everyone has, subscribe and tap the bell. It is free. What's this? Hang on a second, guys. Hello? You're live with Scotty's Phone In? Hello? I didn't get that one. I don't know who that was. Yes, we'll see if they ring back. That's what it's all. Uh, I'm not a troll if you think there's empty footage. No, we didn't think that empty footage. What was it you said that you thought might imply that you were a troll? There we are. We want to know more, I say. That's what it's all about. Now, who have I got here? Oh, wonderful. Just be with you in a second, guys. We're just working away at the old day. Uh, Lovely, lovely. Hello, you're live on Scotty's phone in, is that? Thomas, Scotty, Thomas from Glasgow. Thomas from Glasgow, what a privilege and a joy. Thomas, I uploaded your excellent call the other night. Yeah. Yep, so it's now on YouTube. You can hear it anytime you like. Oh, I'll ask you to have a mute one shortly. Wonderful, what's happening? Nothing much. How was your day? My day's outstanding. Really exciting things are happening with this phone in. It's getting better and better, isn't it? Well, Thomas, I'm talking to such senior people. And then you get all these other ones that's phoning and no answering. And okay, but they're dafties. You get anything like that? I mean, I, I trust me, Thomas. See, as soon as this show hits the big time, there'll be stacks more of them. It won't be good, mate. You know, but you just don't bother about that because do you not remember we had 460,000 calls in a week? Oh, wow. That's amazing. It's so bad, is it? We shorted out the network for Central Scotland. That's good, Scott. <laughs> I mean, I know radio stations right now begging for calls, television stations begging for calls, and we are sitting here with a full switchboard. I uh, know. You know, well, I mean, if you hear Scotty McClure, what are you going to do? You're going to call him. Oh, that's the first thing I will always look forward to is Scotty McClure. You know, you're going to call him, aren't you? That's it. <laughs> it's like I'm gossip. Going, Somebody going. says you shouldn't have spread gossip. You think, well, what are you supposed what? to do with it? Something, <laughs> <laughs> Lovely to hear you. Are you all ready for the cop? Okay. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll see what happens. We'll see how that goes. Yeah. Here we go, okay. Lovely to hear you, buddy. Thank you, do. See you, Thomas. <laughs> Top man. Excellent stuff. We love that. Now, uh, they're going to steal you away. Uh, no, Suzanne, it's very interesting, though. Um, you know, it's 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 got huge interest in seven weeks. You know, you're live with Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Hi, Mummy Pod. Mummy Pods, how are we? Okay. I'm Le trying to get through, and I can't get through. Well, we've just been mobbed tonight, Mummy Pods. <laughs> and you know, we've only got another seven minutes left. Oh well. What's that like? I know. Well, I just felt sorry for you with all these people hanging up. Okay, these idiots. No way. Don't worry about that. You'll always get that in a phone in Mummy Paws. Never feel sorry for Scotty McClure. I'm just delighted about the calls because we have so much quality calling. Yeah. Including yeah, your good worry. self. <laughs> no, that's what's really bowled me over about the whole internet thing. The calibre of the calls is excellent. I mean, you're obviously going to get the odd wee dummy. These wee guys that are phoning in there, they don't think that they can hold a conversation. So that's why they, they do what they do to their their pals, you know. They phone them up and say a sweary word. I know. It's, just, it's very daft. But, but that's the level their mind is at. They've got a tiny, tiny, tiny mind. <laughs> Tiny mind, you know, and they they'd be better learning how to phone Scotty properly and have a chat. Yeah, I'm just trying to get through. 
I was thinking about the cyclists. Yes. Because I really want to be on my bike more. I, I, I don't keep well all the time, so I can't always get out on my bike. Right. But my hubby bought me a nice wee, you know how you were saying these modern bikes. He bought me one of the electric ones. Oh, right. Because, um, because you know that I like Millport, so. Oh, you love Millport. I might get you to hire a tandem and I'll go in the back and take my feet off on the hills. <laughs> if you take your feet off and if I'm cycling in the front, chances are the two so end up crashed at the bottom of the house. We'll end up running into the sea. <laughs> That'll be us. It is. It's this year I've made you smile now with that image. <laughs> Mummy paws in the front of a tandem. McClure in the back with his feet off in the hills. Oh my word. That's why I used to do it to my husband. <laughs> he appeared just he appeared just now. Did you do, well, Mr. Paws? Did you do? Did you do, La? <laughs> <laughs> well, what I might do is get Mr. Paws to hire the tandem and I'll go in the back and take my feet off in the hills. Well, he just doing that because he's always got the kids behind him. So <laughs> No. Fantastic. A, this, this year he hired the tandem and he had the, the little bike behind him. Aha! Uh -huh. Mil uh, Milpa was great for that. You could cycle right round the island. When we went, the first thing I did was say, Mum, can I get a bike? And we'd go and hire the bikes in, I think it was Cardiff Street. And then we would just go round the island. Yeah. Oh, I okay. absolutely loved it. My bike home with me um, this year, but I never, I never managed to in the end. But my idea was to bring it back and to cycle more while I was here. Right. Um, I don't know. I, there's lots of hills and lots of traffic, so I think if they take all the cars off the road, then I'll be able to cycle my wee bike. Quite take the cars off and have only <laughs> cycling to work, a bit like they used to have in Japan or Holland. I don't think if I need to leave all my lanes at home. No, you don't want to do that. Absolutely. So, <laughs> so great, great. Lots and lots of strength to you and to Mr. Paws and to the wee paws. The wee paws. The wee paws. <laughs> and 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 dinky do. Dinky do to you too. Dinky do, mummy paws. All the best. There we are. Fantastic calls. Uh, night night D. Night night Scotty. Night night D. We need two hour phone ins. Fantastic. Now that's an image. Did you like that? Hiring bikes in these days. The wonderful Christopher Flood. Tremendous stuff. Thank you for that. There we are. Everybody phoning here like crazy. That's wonderful. Now, who have I got here? Popeye the Sailor. We love that. Dinky do. Dinky do, Popeye the Sailor. Fantastic stuff. Now then, request for the Glen Gary for tomorrow night, Scotty. Ah, beachy, beachy, yes. We could put on the Glen Gary. We like that. Now, I'll try and call you tomorrow, maybe Saturday. Thank you, Neil. That would be absolutely amazing. We love it. Now, good vibes. Excellent vibes, Popeye the Sailor. I'll tell you, wonderful stuff. Who we got here? Hello? <laughs> All these calls coming in. There's a whole raft of calls coming in. Absolutely incredible. We absolutely love it, guys. I think, sadly, we're going to be out of time and we're not going to get everybody on. Can you believe it? How would that be? We won't be able to get everybody on. But nevertheless, it is good stuff. Right, there we go. Uh, so, request for the Glen Gary, I say. Good night, God bless, Dinky Do, and Tara Lads on the TikTok. Oh, fantastic. That's our beautiful TikTok has gone. And, guys, I'm going to have to dash. We're out of time on the phone in as well. Almost time up. I'll say good night from Byers Road. Oliver and I are having a lovely fish supper and a chilled iron brew. I'm looking for the closest bike hiding company. To take the kids, aha, the roads are a terrible state for bikes, says D. Gooley. Everybody, 
Tomorrow night, 10 o'clock sharp. Be there or be square, I say. Until then, this is Scotty McClure saying dinky-doo to every one of you. And as we say in the best of circles, ta-ra, love!